Sports with Carl Deffenbaugh. The Notre Dame women have been a juggernaut this year, posting blowouts, it seems, with relative ease. But this is where we really see just how good the Irish can be. Three of their next five games on the road and all against top 11 teams. It started tonight at number 11, Tennessee. The Irish crashed Pat Summit's banner-raising party last year, so these balls out for a little revenge. And they came out energized and on point. Off an ND turnover, Bashara Graves beats the defense down the floor. The Irish down 12. It was their largest deficit of the season, but Kayla McBride kept them in it. The corner three, the Irish would go into halftime down five, 46-41. K-Mac had 22. Vols went ice cold in the second half as the Irish bench went red hot. Michaela Mabry a three from the wing, then Madison Cable another one from downtown. As a 9-0 run gave the Irish some breathing room, the Irish would go on to outscore Tennessee 45-24 in the second half. 86-70 is your final from Knoxville. They're now, they've now won four in a row over the Vols. I, I think there was two really big positives. One, we can come back from a deficit, uh, and that was the biggest one we faced this year and, and didn't panic. And two, our bench is really ready to play. Uh, so I, I thought we got great contributions off the bench. I think we just started making shots. I think we were just missing some easy bunnies inside. We were still attacking. They weren't really calling anything, but we just had to keep attacking, and they started falling in the, at the end of the first half. One note from the game, Jewel Lloyd left late in the game after her right ankle was stepped on, so something we're going to have to track for that injury. ND is at home on Thursday against Miami, then will be back on Big Monday a week from tonight at number 6 Maryland. The men, meanwhile,